everybody welcome back to my channel and to another painting process video so for today I have another piece um, that I've been working on for the past couple weeks actually it's been one of those pieces where everything in the world will try to interrupt me and I kept having to um, stop my painting for whatever reason so if any um, parts seem jumpy or if there are any light fluctuations that's really the case and that's why um, I think I've painted this over the course of maybe a week uh, so like six or seven separate occasions where I'd sit down to paint so yeah but thankfully I was able to finish it finally and I decided to title this piece grow um, it's in relation to the last painting that I've done of another hand and lemon tree branch as well and you should have seen that video about two weeks ago now by the time this video is getting uploaded. So if you haven't seen the other two videos in relation to this piece then I will link them in the description box for you if you guys want to check those out too but basically this painting stemmed from when I was in a place where I was very uninspired and unmotivated and I kept making up a lot of excuses on um, not painting and trying to avoid it in different ways so basically I got fed up with that whole I don't know being in that place and being in that stuck feeling so I challenged myself to see how much I could come up with within one hour of time and just to dedicate one hour of the day because we all know life gets busy and I figured if I could do at least one hour of painting in that moment then I would feel a little bit better and a little bit more accomplished so I did and this was one of the pieces that I had been able to start in that amount of time similar to bloom the last piece that I had done prior to this painting uh, the inspiration sort of comes from my lemon tree and its ability to pull through the cold winter months and um, for me, it translates to my position now as an artist and going through the hard times and continuing to just keep pushing and to just never let go of the notion that spring is on the way and things are going to get better. It's just one of those things where we need to have patience and to remember that this sort of thing takes time. It takes time to build your presence and it takes time to find yourself and it's okay to feel this way but we have to remember that we need to not give up and it's important to be able to pull yourself out of these hard places where really your only enemy is yourself and your attitude about where you're at. When I had first begun this painting, probably a month ago now is when I created that one hour painting video um, but when I first started I knew that I wanted to try out different skin tones so for this piece I am pretty happy with the way it turned out I feel like there's so much beauty in this color palette and I really enjoyed um, kind of taking a break from the usual and rendering a different color so yeah I had a lot of fun um, the beat the piece did turn out a little more saturated than I'd wanted it to but I think that the ending contrast turned out really well um, and you'll see the last um, clips uh, what I mean by that. I feel like overall it transitioned really nicely even though it wasn't originally where I had planned on going with this piece. I did want the background to stay fairly bright but I was getting the anatomy of the hand down in the beginning to where I really didn't have a choice but to do a little bit darker of a background um, just because I had a couple of mistakes and such with the finger placement and all of that. And I decided to add a little bit more depth to the piece by adding in the extra foliage in the background. I feel like that gives it a nice little touch. And I was considering placing more leaves towards the bottom of the arm to kind of just make the bottom part of the painting stand out a little bit more and to make it a little more interesting. But I think I think it looked looks good the way that I 
had left it here. That's one of the other things, or one of the big things about being an artist and having so much control over this sort of stuff. It gets really hard to make decisions, at least for me anyway. I know a lot of people will use uh, Procreate and different apps and such to kind of plan out their paintings before they actually go for it. And that's not really how I roll, I guess. I mean, I probably would save myself a lot of time and effort if I would go into a little bit more depth and detail before I start the painting as far as color and composition and everything, but I don't know. That's part of my take as an artist. It's part of my creative process to just kind of go with the flow and to alter things as I am painting and to just kind of go along with it and it makes each piece turn out a little more unique and kind of makes each piece turn out a little bit differently than how I in initially imagined them. So yeah. For this painting, the only references that I actually used were my hands and the lemon tree that I have sitting in my studio. So the lighting got a little bit tricky at times because I painted this on so many different occasions to where the light was never the same each time I looked at my lemon tree. I could have taken a photo and just looked at the photo, but I was attempting to paint from real life and that's something that I feel like I need a lot more practice in when it comes to that aspect and rendering things more realistically. Um, I've said before that my favorite types of painting aren't exactly realism because while I do appreciate artists that can <laughs> render things realistically um, with, with photorealism and everything, I feel like my tastes, I like things that dabble on the verge of realism and I like being able to see the creativity that goes into a piece and um, I had said before I know that I originally started off painting with abstract pieces and concepts and now that I'm dabbling a little bit more towards realism, I do still like keeping that abstract feeling in most of my pieces so yeah I'm not sure where I was going with that but I just thought I'd throw that out there too I really really enjoyed just the freedom this piece provided and the freedom from having to look at a reference photo and to just kind of go off of the top of my head and out of my mind and imagination it was fun but there were times where it was challenging and I had to fix a few things that I didn't think looked quite, quite right in the end, but overall I'm really happy that I got to experience the process of creating this piece. So that's about all I have for this painting video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to use the last few moments of this speed painting to just let you guys know that I am currently having a sale in my shop for Mother's Day and that'll end um, I think May 19th is when it's set to end, but the sale is for 15% off of your order. Just use the code MOM15 at checkout to redeem and you'll get your 15% off. In regards to this piece, it was done on gesso board with acrylic paint. I think I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but it's a size 9 by 12 and it'll be listed in my shop same as the other piece whenever I manage to find a frame suitable so stay tuned for that. When heading to my shop you can also see that gift cards are now available at the varying prices from $15 to $1,000. Once purchased these will generate a unique code that will be credited towards your cart at checkout. I think that about does it for announcements. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Stay tuned for the next video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time and until then, keep creating.